How did you become who you are today? In this video, we are going to explore the topic of how our identity is formed. Hello and welcome to part two of my video series, Identity 101, where I talk about identity, what it is, how it is formed, how to find it, and how self-acceptance and choosing who you want to be gives you power over insecurities. In this video, I'm going to cover a few key factors that affect the formation of your identity. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to be going through a journaling exercise that will help you to think back and take a look at your life and see what factors and what key influences did you have that affected your identity during your growing up years. Three groups of people and your interactions with them while you were growing up play a huge part in how your identity was formed. The first group is parents or guardians. The second, someone you looked up to who's spoken to your life, such as a teacher or a coach. Thirdly, your peers, friends, schoolmates, and siblings. These different influences during our childhood years affect our beliefs about ourselves. I want to share an example from my own life. Growing up, I was blessed to have a dad who was very engaged in my upbringing. He provided security and he definitely influenced the way I think about myself and how I face the world today. I remember a time where I wanted to do an espresso stand for a local youth fair. The fair had given each kid in the entrepreneurship class a booth for the day to run their own businesses and sell their own products. Having had a small commercial espresso machine at home, another story for another time, I thought, why not bring that espresso machine to the fair and sell drinks for my booth? Well, easier said than done, right? It turned out to be quite a project. But my dad had a can-do attitude and he helped me get the machine set up for use. It took some creativity and ingenuity but eventually we got everything working. We had to create a special water source just for the espresso machine, as well as find power with enough amperage to run it. Dad figured it all out and made that dream and goal of mine a reality. Some beliefs about myself that I take away from this experience. One is, I can do anything if I put my mind to it. Another is, family is there for me and can help my dreams become a reality. Lastly, I am valuable enough to have someone invest their time and energy into me. And that's actually really powerful. All this came from one story and one situation from my childhood. And it shows you the power of one important person in your growing up years. The next thing, after talking about the three groups of people I mentioned earlier, are two more factors highs and lows. Highs are things that could be big wins, victories, championships, special trips, and other high moments in our growing up years. On the positive side, success and victories can enforce our sense of value and self-worth. On the negative side, they can also inflate our ego and cause us to be performance driven which could look like crowd pleasing and trying to earn love from others based on our achievements. The lows could be things like trauma, abuse, grief and loss, disappointments, divorce, and bullying. It's beyond the scope of this video to dive into the solutions for each of these lows but it's important to know that these factors can play a significant part in the way that we view ourselves and the world around us. The good news is that the negative side effects of these issues don't have to be permanent in our lives, and there is a path to healing and wholeness. I'd suggest you reach out to a mentor of yours or find a professional you can talk to and begin to explore and untangle the effects of these lows. For today, I'd love for all of you watching to take a moment to look back and assess who were the key influences in your childhood and how did they affect your identity. 
I have an exercise for you. For this, you're gonna wanna grab a journal, a blank piece of paper, or open up a blank document on your computer so that you could take some notes. Let's take a look at your past, your childhood, and the relationships that you had as you were growing up. I have a few questions as prompts for you, but really this time is for you to reflect back and think and write out what comes to mind. As I go through this exercise, feel free to pause the video after each journaling prompt. That way you have time to complete the question before moving on to the next one. First off, who were people that had a significant impact on your identity and sense of self? Was there a parent or guardian that made an impact? What positive beliefs about yourself did you learn from them? Did you learn any negative beliefs about yourself from them? Secondly, how about a teacher or coach? Who were they? What impact did they have on you? What did you learn from them? And what beliefs about yourself did you learn from them? Lastly, who were some friends or siblings that made a positive impact on you? What did you learn from them? And what beliefs about yourself did you learn from them? For the next part of this exercise, we are gonna look at the highs and lows. Looking back at the highs and lows of your life, list out what those things were. So under highs, list out those high moments that stick out to you. And for lows, list out those low moments or negative low situations that you experienced. Next, are there any other pivotal moments you remember? What impact did they have on your beliefs about yourself? I have two more questions for you in this exercise. The first is, what takeaways or aha moments or discoveries did you make during this journaling exercise? And the second one is, what action steps, if any, do you need to take? So write those down. We are coming to the end of this video. But before we finish, I would love for you to post in the comments below any aha moments that you have. Okay friends, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I release the next video in this series, Identity 101. I will see you in the next one. Bye!